So another option we have for reworking our content or creating our uh, interactive knowledge check is a text entry, right? A fill in the blank type question is it just another great way to ask learners to recall what they just learned or read in an earlier slide. So the context is already being provided to the learner in the existing slide, which is this slide. So we're going to duplicate it and then rework that content into a, uh, an interactive uh, quiz. So here's what it looks like. We just select our slide. We want to duplicate it, right? The same process. We just want to, we don't want to delete our existing content. We just want to provide that additional uh, little speed bump just to um, get the learner to reflect. So here we go. We're going to ask, let's ask the question, which, uh, which, which branch of government makes the laws? So perfect example, perfect opportunity for a fill in the blank. So I can delete all of this. I'm only deleting this now because I just don't need it. And we can leave this here, right? Maybe the visual reference helps, or you can actually remove this if you like. Um, but again, just working from whatever you have. And I'll keep the these up here just for the reference. So there's my question, right? So I'm just reframing the content that I already had in the form of a question. And then we need to add that fill in the blank. So here's what that looks like. We'll go up to insert and convert to free form and this time text entry. So from here, we can add the acceptable answers. So a couple things here, right? Um, obviously with text entry, right, there's always that chance of uh, misspelling the term. Um, I do not need to make these case sensitive. Maybe I do, um, but if I want to leave it, give a little bit of a uh, uh, room for error, I can leave that uh, un unselected or deselected. And then from here, we can uh, just leave one term. But if you wanted to be really specific, you could make these uh, case sensitive. So save and close. That's all I need to do. You get this text entry field here. Uh, there should be enough cont uh, contrast with this uh, fill in the blank on this slide. If there isn't, you may want to either uh, format this. You can actually add shape fill. And maybe that helps a little bit, or you could do something to actually make it stand out a little bit more. But I think that'll be fine in this example. We can always make this bolder. And again, just format this any way we like. So let's go ahead and just try our slide right now. So we'll just preview our slide. And which branch? Here's my fill in the blank and submit and hey that's correct and then I continue through uh, the slide. So that's how easy it is right the whole idea is that you don't want to uh, disrupt your uh, development timeline you just want to work with whatever content you have and find a way to uh, use one of the six convert to free form opportunities um, to really create those interactive uh, knowledge checks in your existing content.